Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Bullbound College Football. This is episode 12. We won our opening game last week. Uh, we didn't look great doing it. In fact, our defense ranks number 108 out of 120. Uh, offense looks pretty good, so we'll keep going with that. I'm not going to mess with the playbook this week, but we do have quite a few injuries. So Goodwin is out for a couple of months with a torn PCL. Parker is trying to play through a shoulder laceration, and Hickey, our center, has a nerve injury. Uh, recommend letting him have a little more time. So that is what's going on there. We do have our study hall hours. All right, so we put that in. All right, we already did this, but now I kind of want to look. Weaver actually completed 60% of his throws. So let me kind of reevaluate here. 50, so better to arm strength. Touch is about even. Yeah, I just, well, you know what? We'll stick him up there. We'll give him a game, see what he can do. That's kind of what I felt about Williams last year as well. Just not, not the best. Everything right there looks good. All right, let's pop in and check out the plans so it's a pick em game on the road they're led by their tight end and outside linebacker we're led by our tight end and free safety they have not played a game yet all right so let's set this to normal i always hit the suggest button on the defense again you might be able to dig deeper on that all right so let's sim out this week and we take it on the chin, 27-24. Kind of a reversal of last game. Uh, we dominated first downs, 32-18. to 18. Uh, We had 549 yards to 322. Only 25 yards pa uh, rushing. 33 out of 71 for 524 through the air. Four interceptions. Only two fumbles, but we lost both of them again like last week. Uh, but at least we didn't have six hit the dirt. Three of four on field goals, five of six in the red zone. All right, so they started off with a 39-yard pass. We got a field goal. They got another touchdown We got and a field goal. We were in a 17-3 hole before Weaver hit Fleming for three yards to make it a seven-point game at halftime. Uh, we shared field goals at in the third quarter. They got a 36-yard touchdown. We got a short field goal, stalling inside the five. And then with two seconds left, an 18-yard pass and the two-point conversion. But we do fall short. Weaver, 26 out of 56. Two touchdowns, four picks. Williams, 7 of 15. So 26 and 26 is 52, so that's below 50. That's below 50 as well. Uh, the running yards were not there this game. Fleming does have nine catches, three drops today, but 100 yards and a score. Tucker, four, uh, six catches, 97 yards. And where is my kicker? Three out of four. His long was 38. We know he hit a 44 last week, so let's keep that in mind. Double check our injury report, pretty much the same deal. We did have two players flunk out uh, for this stretch, so you can see some holes in the, in the roster there. All right, now this is going to be a problem. I always like at least three players because, you know, you only have your starter and your backup. Anybody gets hurt then you're all of a sudden you're one short there. So let's look at Jackson's the best pass blocker. I'm going to actually make him our second string tackle. He's our third string guard. You know, Layton can't do any worse than these guys, right? So we'll give him the start. We'll put Williams back in as our fourth down guy. Maybe what we need to do is scale back a little bit all right let's get let's jump into the playbook now that we've had a couple of games and again i'm just looking for anything that you know, from a yardage perspective 
but we have thrown quite a few passes. Uh, let's see, so 50%, but two big plays. 44%, no. We'll double up on that one. All right, and medium passes. 50%, 66, that's good. We'll get rid of that and we'll put five into that column. We'll add another five there. We'll add another five there. We'll keep that one at 10 just because it's 66%. We'll add five there. Five attempts, that's no good. All right, that gets us to 100%. All right, week three, we're sitting one and one. Our offense is number eight in the country, but number 87 defensively. We are five-point underdogs at home and usually get three points. So that makes us an eight-point dog, uh, basically. They're led by their tight end, as are we. So we want to set that up against the pass, which we have done. And let's see what happens. Uh, left defensive tackle. Okay, depth chart. Ah, did I, I was so worried about the offense, I forgot to check, check those. And in this one, we get owned. So more first downs for them. They outgained us by about 160 yards, 155 yards. Didn't even average a yard per carry. You see our passing is down because we put in a playbook with more rushing attempts, and that did not pan out. Two fumbles, but we didn't lose any, but we had five interceptions. Ow. And Leighton had all five, and he was below 50%. So we've given all of our quarterbacks a shot. So I will scroll through here, and you guys can pause it at your leisure to check out stats. And I see one thing I forgot to do. All right, so 20,856 in attendance. Joseph White was the player of the game. And that's our receiver, seven catches for 159. Oh, boy. All right. So Mitchell Parker has recovered from his shoulder injury. And if I remember correctly, we are off the next two weeks. So let me get through that. And we will be back for one more game, our opening league match against Arkansas State. So just to remind you, um, I, I was going to try to schedule somebody in week four, but they were too difficult. The worst, worst opponent was Louisiana Tech. And I just didn't feel, why, are my, why am I playing Kansas State this year? I have no idea. Because they are in the Big 12. I don't remember. I didn't schedule them. Maybe that was from last year. Maybe. Uh, anyway, one thing you can do with your off weeks is figure out what the weeks are that players get suspended and then maybe try to make sure you're, you know, use that first week when you could have suspensions. You know, use a, a week in there to, to maybe gain a week where you don't have to play without one of your best players, if you know that they are a great issue. With my team, everybody is pretty horrible, so it doesn't really matter. All right, we're into week six. Hickey has recovered from his shoulder injury. Uh, let's see, ratings. Actually, look at that. Accuracy, touch, intelligence, and instincts are now better than Weaver. But boy, he threw all those interceptions. But you see he improved. He went to three, three out of three, so he's maxed out. So this is where you kind of have to go, okay, who, who am I going to play? Who am I going to give playing time to? Now, we are down a guard now. This will be a run-blocking position. Espinosa, Wood, it'll be King. But we will sit in there. All right, let's go ahead. We are on the road, two-point underdogs this week. And pretty evenly matched, but we do fall 20 to 16. Uh, we outgained them by about 100 yards. Again, no running, that, so to speak. 27 of 62 as we do revert back to our aggressive passing attack. One interception and 
three field goals, only one fumble. So not horrible. 23 out of 48, two interceptions. Leighton had the touchdown. Williams, three for 21, rushing. Tucker, seven for 97. Fleming, five for 85. Uh, let me scroll down through the O-line and stuff. Stop it if you want to watch or look at anything in particular. And player of the game was Sean Johnson, the uh, Arkansas State running back. 31 carries, 98 yards. And a lot of that just comes down to sheer talent. <laughs> Are you any good? All right. Uh, I think we've got time for one more. We're going to bring in the quarterback. And you saw I went right to the third player because, again, I told you guys in the first season that third player is always the highest rated. All right, what's wrong with Leighton? Leighton has a pulled quad. Yeah, let's go with Williams. And we need to put King back in that third guard position. I wonder, Vance Johnson. King's a 46. Let's go ahead and put John uh, King up to number one in that spot. See if that helps us any. All right. There was something, again, I've been forgetting to do this. Uh, let's drop this down to 40 yards. Just, I, I don't believe he, he can do anything there, guys. And you know what? I am going to drop this. I'm going to go back to the real heavy pass that we were doing in the first game, first two games. Let's focus on the pass, and let's hop in and look at the playbook again. It's been a couple of games. Only one attempt, so I'm not going to lose sleep over that. All right, if we're going to play Williams in there, let's add a couple of quarterback runs, and I'm going to make it 100% so he plays every snap. All right, we're at home. We're two-point underdogs against North Texas. The preview tells us that uh, they are led by Herbert Chase, 127 carries for 385 yards, one touchdown, 77 yards a game, and we rank number 65 against the run, giving up 133 yards. So maybe what we do is we will come in here and we'll switch it over to run. We'll do that. Maybe we'll win. We're one and three. Not good. And we have prevailed 24 to 13, getting our second win on the season. Much like Arkansas State, evenly matched in first downs, yardage. Uh, we outgained them by about 60 yards, only 30 yards rushing, 27 out of 54, which is dead on 50%, 16 to 35, below 50%. One interception, no fumbles. Yes, that's a win. Carlos Williams to George Jean, 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 72 yards. Williams to White, 16 yards. Williams to Fleming, the tight end, 59 yards. Opened up a 21-0 advantage at the half. They picked up a couple of field goals, and then they got a 16-yard pass late in the fourth quarter. Williams, solid game. With that, I think we've got to go with him the rest of the season, barring an injury. Uh, Tucker had 12 yards. Miller, 3 for 11. Uh, Williams, 4 carries for 3 yards. Fleming, 4 catches for 83. 7 for 77 for White. And we'll scroll down. There's your O-line and your defensive information. Carlos Williams, player of the game. All right, we'll take that. Uh, 18,342 in light rain, 84 degrees. That's some pretty nice weather in, in Lafayette. And at this juncture, we are 2-3 and three on the season, 1-1 one and one in the Sun Belt. So we are two games behind Louisiana Monroe, and they're 5-2 and two overall. Wow. So they lost to Purdue, lost to TCU, beat Hawaii. UAB, Florida International. I mean, they have looked a machine here uh, in conference play the last three games. They got the non-conference, a couple of non-conference wins. 
So we've got some work to do. We have got some work to do. But we'll call it an episode there. Uh, let's see if we look. Let's look at our team stats. All right, there's your passing stats. Nobody's at 50%. And that's kind of my threshold at this level. If you can't throw for 50%, I really don't want you. And I really want 60% if I can get it. So, ugh, that is horrible. Four touchdowns, three interceptions, 1.7 interception percentage. I think he's got to be our guy. Uh, there's your rushing leaders and your receiving leaders, led by White and Tucker, both with 28 catches. Both of them with three, three receivers with over 400 yards. Yeah, I hear you. Three receivers over 100 yards. That's pretty astounding. Uh, George thought so, at least. And four touchdowns for White to lead the way. Take a look at White. Personal best, seven catches, 159 yards. Only 41 hands, 40 route running. So he's no great shakes, but is what it is. There's your offensive line numbers. Again, if you want to take a look in more depth, pause, pause the video and you can take a look at those. Uh, eight for eight on extra points, 10 of 13 on field goals. And there's your punting responsibilities, kick returns, and defensive numbers. So tackles, solo, assists, and defense uh, sacks are in there as well, and then defensive turnovers. Uh, we've we've got uh, we've got some interceptions. T Arena three inter three interceptions for eighty yards in returns and a touchdown that sixty six yard pick six a couple of games ago. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe. And we'll come back and see if we can't win a couple more games next episode. Have a good one, guys. Bye.